you seven i'm back i'm back okay so let's get into it okay so what i find attractive in men what i find attractive in men like what attracts me to some men okay this is just my opinion and I'm, i know a lot of other ladies share the same um attractions so i'm just gonna tell y'all what i find attractive in men okay besides money because we all know that money is like key <laughs> Besides, I'm not going to say money. I'm going to say besides the ability of a man to be able to provide for you and your family. Okay. Besides that, this is what I find attractive about men. Intelligence. After um, the fact that he's able to be a provider, I look for intelligence. I need someone who knows how to keep things going, how to, um, you know, keep a job how to do a job how to have a career how to move up in their career how to figure things out um how to impress me how to teach me something okay i like intelligence that's like very important number two a sense of humor you got to be able to laugh i need to be able to laugh with you joke with you say funny things that you don't take offense to because you know this is how you know things are having a sense of humor not human having a sense of humor and not being so uptight and serious all the time or taking things too personally that is also one of the key qualities that a lot of women look for in men another key quality that women look for in men is do you listen do you remember stuff um are you here for the right reason like when i'm talking are you actually listening to the words do you know you know um what i like are you just focused on getting something else? And do you really listen, okay? Are you observant, okay? Um, another thing that I really like about men is their range. Are they open-minded? Can you take them everywhere? Can they dress up? Can they dress down? Can they feel comfortable in any environment with any type of person, any type of group of people, wealthy, rich, poor, you know, are they versatile? Do they have an open mind? Okay, I look for that. You need to have an open mind. You also need to be able to fit in into any environment that we go in, okay? Like, not using so many excessive curse words. I don't like people that curse a lot as a partner because it's like, first of all, it shows that you are you have a lack of you know vocabulary that you could choose from and doesn't look very intelligent. It's also very, um, you know, negative. So no, I don't like it because if they cuss just on the regular basis, imagine what it's like when y'all argue, okay? Names being thrown here and there. No, I can't do that. Especially if you have kids or, you know, plan on having kids and you have a husband with a potty mouth, that's not gonna work and it's not cool, okay? It just looks low class. So the next thing I like, the next thing I find attractive in a man is someone that can show you things, new things, turn you on to new uh, places to eat, new places to travel, knowledge that you've never, um, you know, thought about inquiring. Just someone who can broaden your horizon, someone who can upgrade you, you know what I mean? And not just in money, but in everything, you know, culture, status knowledge education all that i need i need a man to be able to upgrade me just like i'm gonna be able to upgrade him in certain ways you know uh i need a man who's not afraid like i already have a husband but i'm saying my requirements and a lot of women's requirements are similar so i'm just gonna do what i know so another one would be you know do you appreciate the time you know a man that appreciates the time and effort a woman puts into her looks and understands that it takes time, effort, money, and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and who appreciates a woman who keeps up her appearance and respects her for not, you know, letting herself go looking crazy, you know, walking around in house slippers and bonnets on their head every day. Um, someone who actually says, you know, you look nice today. Compliments. Guys who give lots of compliments that are not false, like, you know. I like your look today, you know, and, and not expecting anything in return. You know what I mean? I like guys who can actually court you. And this goes along with not expecting anything in return. Man who can actually court you just for the sake of courting, which means taking you out to dinner, lunch, concerts, you know, spending time with you, getting to know you without wanting something in return. 
if you date for the wrong reason as a man and you are just dating to get something in return, um, then that's not the real reason to be dating a woman. You should just be casually seeing women and explaining yourself like, okay, well, I don't want any strings. I'm just here for the sex and maybe a few movies and dinners here and there, but I don't want nothing serious out of you. If I take you to A, B, and C, I want you to come back home with me. That needs to be upfront when you start dating a woman because otherwise you're gonna be disappointed, you're gonna be mad, and she's gonna be like, well, I thought he was trying to date. What, what does he want sex for on the third date after, you know? No. So you need to, uh, like men who date in court for the sake of dating and courting, that's very attractive like there'll be guys in the bar and they'll just send you a drink over don't even come over to introduce themselves that's the type of man that's attractive that's the kind of man that women will look at and be interested in not the guy who's struggling to um you know buy you a drink and then all up in your face for the rest of the night because he spent five dollars on you no okay if you're gonna buy a lady a drink don't even go up to her at first, have the bartender send her a drink, then make your approach later. Say hi, introduce yourself, then bounce, then get out of the way. If she likes you, she'll pursue you or she'll give you eye contact to make you know that she wants you to come back. But don't sit there and wait for something in return. If you're gonna court and do something nice for a woman, just do it, okay? She is the one who needs to decide if she likes you or not, okay? All right, that's how real men do, okay? these guys today they really didn't have anyone to teach them the art of courting because a lot of men didn't have the money to court they didn't believe in it because they you know there were so many uh, other options like uh, women who just don't have standards so I think the art of courting needs to come back and I think a man should actually do a whole YouTube video or a channel that's dedicated dedicated on how to court women you know how to find a good woman how to um, decent uh, how to have decent morals and how to actually court a woman but it seems like there's hardly any of those kind of videos and if y'all know someone who's doing that let me know link link his channel to me because I would really love to see you know guys who are you know taking a step up to make things right you know um, a lot of people will come on my channel and say, oh, you're an independent woman. You don't need, I never said I was an independent woman. I don't know where y'all got that from. I have never said I was an independent woman. Like never, 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 never. Why? Because if I'm independent, that means I'm alone and I have to do everything myself. And that is not my personality. I'm going to need your help, your help, your help, your help. I need y'all to do stuff. Okay. I can't do it all by myself. I've never said I was independent. Never. Okay. I don't know where y'all are getting that from. I never fought for women's rights. That wasn't even my generation. So I don't know what y'all are talking about. Um, and I'm glad that women do have rights and they have a choice, but that does not mean we still don't want to be treated like a lady and courted and you know provided for. Those were women who were forced into that position and who were fighting for women who didn't have a choice. Do you know what I mean? Um, a lot of women were in abusive relationships and they needed to make a, a you know a living outside of you know having a, a man you know so that is the good that came out of the feminism and they also needed to get equal pay in the workplace they still don't really get equal pay but they got close enough so that they could provide for the children that the, the fathers left behind okay so it has nothing to do with wanting to be strong and independent it has something to do with you know, they might have been in a bad situation and needed to get out of it. And the only way to do that was to be able to also provide like a man because the man just got up and left or he couldn't take it anymore or whatever, whatever reason they split up, they split up. Okay. And now she's responsible. So instead of being like, you know, onto the next man and using the next man and being a gold digger, they decide to get up and go and actually get a job and work for themselves and feed their family. So when you down feminists and then you down gold diggers, there's nothing left. You know, who are you going to? <laughs> you, you can't blame anyone, basically. People are going to do what they need to do to, to survive. Now, women don't all share the same mindset, okay? Some women love working. They love being the big boss chick, and I give kudos to them. 
okay? Because at some point in my life, I was one of those women before I got married and had kids. Um, but I realized I feel more like a woman. I feel happier letting someone else take care of me. I feel happier being a mom, being a housewife. I feel happier doing the things that I like to do in my own time without someone else, you know, telling me what to do. Uh, so it's different for everyone. So I am not an independent woman. I'm a housewife. I'm a mother. I'm a, a YouTuber. I, I have so many different titles. So, and I couldn't do this by myself. I, my husband goes out and work so that I can have a good life so that I can sit here and make videos for you guys so that I don't have to go out and work for some other guy, you know, so I can help my kids with their homework so I can do all that. I know other women that work do that too, but I don't have to, and I'm not ashamed of it. And I'm not going to say that I'm pro feminist or a pro independent woman or pro gold digger. I'm pro woman. So whatever works for you, ladies do it and do it your best and don't let men determine your value okay they need to learn how to treat you and the only way that they're going to learn how to treat you is how you treat yourself and how much you value yourself so ladies up your standards know your value and don't settle for less and you won't be complaining about you know this dude or that dude you know later on down the line because your standards will not allow you to even bother with those type of people okay so raise them up all right i will see y'all on my next video if y'all have any questions or video topics that y'all want me to consider because i can't always promise i'm gonna do them put them in the comments um and also if y'all like this look this makeup look y'all i got this whole makeup look from the dollar tree <laughs> i did a dollar tree makeup challenge okay it's where you go to the dollar tree and buy a bunch of makeup and do your entire face using only dollar tree products now i'm gonna link um my beauty channel below and y'all can go subscribe to that beauty channel and check out um my dollar tree makeover okay also <laughs> um it's probably gonna be up actually friday so y'all just go ahead and go subscribe over there now so that on friday it'll pop up in your you know so, you know new uh, subscriptions or whatever um and you can see me over there y'all ever want to see me with no makeup y'all go to my beauty channel y'all i'm not hiding anything like a lot, a lot of guys will say well without all that makeup and this this and that you look like this this and that i was like oh well I, I can't help what I look like when I wake up in the morning, but <laughs> I could do something about it, okay? Now, I will see y'all later, and thumbs up if you agree with this video. If you don't, tell me why you don't in the comments. You know, get it off your chest. I don't mind. Um, men, if you know a channel where men are actually teaching how other men how to court women, please link it below. I will find it. I will go look at it. And I will probably type a long comment praising that person. So, yes, haven't come across one yet, but I'm hoping that there's one out there. I'll see y'all later.